some of us who have seen the other side, coming from that cosmic thinking, mm. we can actually merge into the creativity of the universe itself. Mm. Therefore, the evolution is no longer a process of nature. We become the creativity itself. Therefore, the evolutionary process becomes the, the creative process. Mm. Uh, it is like people call conscious evolution, but it is more than conscious evolution. You become the force that transforms the field of consciousness itself. Mm. So that is the essence of think cosmically, act globally. And what I get from this is we're producing something here. There's, mm -hmm. Because we're so in harmony and we look the same way, and I think we've gone beyond uh, self-focusing into something bigger. Mm -hmm. We've created something. Mm -hmm. So what I connected with is when enough of us start to um, get rid of the terms them and us, mm -hmm when there's only us, there is no them, we'll bring a new energy mm. and it'll happen on its own. But while we've got this division in any way, which is also on the inside, because we've got a them and thus on the inside, the mm. part we accept and we don't accept, yeah. as these come together and then we all start to see that everybody that's starving is us. That mm. These are our children. Every, everybody is really one. It isn't just a new age saying. Mm. It is a fact. We are all connected. Mm. And when this starts to come together and we start to see this instead of being against, I think we'll create a whole new vibration that will just pop us all. Mm. Mm. all. What, what's your opinion, Geneva? I mean, you've been uh, working in the field of um, understanding humanity from a kind of astrological level. Is, it, is that time coming soon? Do you see that? Yes. This, we are on the uh, orb of uh, tr tremendous change. And just from saying as being a teacher mm -hmm. and working in the uh, black community, there is a lot of work that has to be done educationally for people to mm -hmm. love themselves mm -hmm. and not hate themselves. Mm -hmm. So that the, you know, the, uh, the, the, the homicide rate and the, you know, these things, we, we must start with ourselves. Mm. This whole, we can't think cosmically until we take time and go within to ourselves. That's the key. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. And in Egypt, I mean, if you want to bring a historical perspective to this um, discussion, because uh, Egypt was a society that did attain a level of high consciousness. And, and, and how did it get there, and, and, and what happened with it? How it got there is a big mystery, actually, because it starts at its height, very close to its beginning, around, or dynastic Egypt anyway, around 3000 BC. Mm -hmm. And it then declines very slowly. It stays intact and coherent for 3,000 years, so they must be doing something right. Mm -hmm. But it's going downhill all along. And I think this has actually takes us into a discussion which we won't get into because we don't have time, <laughs> but into the whole Hindu idea of the Kali Yuga, mm -hmm. of the Yuga cycle, in which there is a huge cycle mm -hmm. of humanity of, in Platonic terms, a Golden Age, a Silver Age, a Bronze Age, right, but and we're an coming, Iron Age. We're coming back, it seems like from this discussion, we're coming back now to the top of that cycle. I mean, well, no, we're coming maybe out of the bottom of it, right. possibly, maybe. Okay. I'm, I must say, I'm, I'm, I'm less of an optimist than some of the other people at the table here because I think that it's going to get worse before it starts mm. getting better. Mm. But it might do that. But again, there are basically, mm. I see it, that there are three ways to learn a lesson. Mm -hmm. There's the hard way, there's the harder way, and then the third one, I'll tell you in a second. The hard way is you wanna, <laughs> if you want to be a violinist or a baseball player, uh -huh. every bit of your energy has to go into mastering that particular skill. Mm -hmm. That's hard, but there's a joy to it. Mm -hmm. The harder way is if you're an alcoholic or a drug addict, mm -hmm. you have to hit the absolute bottom, mm -hmm. and then you have a choice. You're going to die or you're going to do whatever you can to survive. Right. That's the harder way. And then the third way is the grace of God, and you can't count on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, there is a passage, there is a bridge mm. for this uh, beauty of cosmic vision. 
and uh, it was given to the humanity. We had 500 years. Mm -hmm. This passage, uh, globally, we had to develop a kind of new vision to accept a new light. Mm -hmm. And it started with discoveries uh, with uh, Newton, Galileo Galilei, Giordano Bruno, Kepler, etc. So uh, in 1514, mm -hmm. this passage globally uh, for all humanity started and it will finish very soon, so mm -hmm. 2014, mm -hmm. for 500 years on a mental level to accept a certain amount of light mm -hmm. and to have this new vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, then for the feelings, the, it, the time is shorter. We mm -hmm. started 1914. Mm -hmm. So 100 years, mm -hmm. uh, we can see how the feelings are, in, are um, shocked wars mm -hmm. and uh, um, and camps and uh, all suffering during mm -hmm. last century. Mm -hmm. So we will again finish this passage for the feelings mm -hmm. uh, 2014, mm -hmm. but individually. Uh, so this is conscious passage then for the feelings mm -hmm. and then individually we call it mystical passage or mm -hmm. mystical initiation. Mm -hmm. And then each person has its right moment when we accomplished, when we assimilated necessary light, mm -hmm. necessary amount of light, mm -hmm. of understanding. Then we just do a switch. Uh, maybe uh, some will call it um, quantic uh, jump. Mm -hmm. So then mystically we did already and then we have both visions mm -hmm. uh, from the <laughs> the top of the carpet mm -hmm. and from the bottom mm -hmm. and then we can really be the servant of humanity we can help humanity because humanity becomes our family mm. we become one i work with the nakamadi text which are the ancient coptic text of egypt there is mm -hmm. a concept of reconnection uh -huh. mm -hmm. with the higher mm -hmm. self, which which requires a focus and a will to go along with this creative side of consciousness. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. One has to exercise. In fact, many schools of Buddhism mm -hmm. emphasize the fact that, yes, you can teach the problems of just going through life in, in the gameful mm -hmm. chaos, but you have to take an exercise of letting go and letting the divine come mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And in your personal experiences, because you've also had your own mystical, um, higher level experience, can you bring some of I've that in? I've had some paraphysical experiences of being able to reach into what some would call future scenarios. Yeah, tell us about well, the future. One specific area that John uh, Anthony would be interested in, uh, in Egyptologists in general, was the uh, remarkable projection I had of my psyche into the Great Pyramid of Egypt where I saw there was a third chamber connected with the kings and queens chamber mm -hmm. on the inside and I describe this uh, in my book which I published 33 years ago. Mm -hmm. and at the present time the Egyptians are looking for what they believe to be a connecting chamber between the chamber of the king and the chamber of the queen. So how will that connect to evolving our consciousness? It, or what's it, the it means basically we can realize in the touchstones of history, whether we call them great temples or tombs mm -hmm. or libraries of knowledge, there are certain aspects of resonance mm -hmm. that our mind can pick up on, retrieve information, be it scenario abstracts, come back, record this and then give it to a ground team to go in and see for real if this is something real or imaginary, mm -hmm. something that would add to the construct of how Egypt represents the whole planetary mm -hmm field of knowledge. It mm. is not simply a, a province of only classical Egyptology, but as John Anthony of West so brilliantly did was to show it really is a, is a stepping stone mm. to reconcile the missing pieces, not only of Egypt, but also counterparty uh, throughout the world and other cultures. So how do we take that information and move what we're doing here forward to the next level? Well, this requires a new map of consciousness, mm -hmm. of recognizing that history can be understood in terms of a larger synergy of mm -hmm. where we all share basically the same building blocks, mm -hmm. recognizing in particular with the Great Pyramid as a model mm -hmm. that it is a, a, a 
geophysical building block of evolution, not only here, but in all cultures. Mm. And what did you get? When you say we need this new consciousness, I think it's there. And up to now, we've destroyed it. Mm. We've destroyed the creativity with our education mm. and our conditioning. And it's there. And these new children that are coming up, they're new. There's something else. Mm -hmm. And then I was uh, remembering this study that's been done on the fetus in the womb that if it's if the mother is in a dangerous condition mm -hmm. around her it develops the more primitive brain mm -hmm. and if they're in a safe part it's mm -hmm. it so if they're brought up in love and caring right from the womb we've got a new human being coming mm -hmm. uh, that's in or got it a fresh contact mm -hmm. with the source and it's not going to get damaged by our education system and this we're, we're going to nurture this and bring these new beings that are more directly connected. got that connection and that stronger connection and bring it into this dimension. Mm. And stay con and that brings us back to what you began. We'll stay connected to this essential self. We don't lose mm. that connection right. in that case. Right. We're here to move forward. We're here to you are here and all of us that have been on this panel are part of this evolutionary thrust forward into something new. So if you've gotten something from this discussion, please let me know. You can email me at newrealities at earthlink.net. I'm Alan Steinfeld. This is New Realities.